take a look at multiple quantifiers. Sometimes we need to use both quantifiers, the universal and existential in a statement. For example, just going to go over one example talking about multiple quantifiers. Suppose I ask you to translate the following. The following statement. Every non-zero real number has a reciprocal. Every none zero number has a reciprocal. So remember that, how did we define the reciprocal? If you have real number A, this is what we learned before. Suppose we consider two, X is two, then we can find another number a half, which two times a half is equal to one or X, Y is equal to one. In this case, we say that hey, x is a reciprocal of y and y is a reciprocal of x. This is what we learned in algebra. Now, mathematically, we're going to say that every non zero number has a reciprocal. So, what's the meaning of that? It means that for every real number, for every real number that is non zero, that is not zero, we can find the real number. There is a real number with what condition? Such that their multiplication is one. Their multiplication, their product, is one. So one by one, piece by piece, for every real number that is non-zero. For every non-zero real number. We can find, let's just call it the number like x, We can find a real number. There is a real number like y, okay, such that with what condition? The condition is that if I multiply x and y, the output is 1. x, y is 1. So as you can see, I'm using a universal quantifier and an existential quantifier. Very good. Another example. So. We want to say that there is a real number with no reciprocal. There is a real number with no reciprocal. So what's the meaning of that? Let's just try to translate this. It means that we can find there exists a real number, a real number, like what? Like x, such that, such that what? If you take any other real number and multiply it by x, it's not one such that 
for any other real number like y x y their multiplication is not one so there is a real number like x such that for any for any such that just like this there is there is a real number number x such that for any real number y comma x y is not one for any real number so such that for any real number y oh, we're just writing this down in a quantified statement now here we're using two quantified statements there is for all note that the comma goes here 